My Best Friends Live in the Woods The Adventures of Albert by Anne Michelle Moracek Chapter 9, Spiral of Light Hurry, Albert, we don't want to be late, Bluebell said as she led the entire family toward the great clearing. We don't have much daylight left. The entire family was on a mission. They were each dragging a pine bough as they walked along. The morning had been spent gathering pine branches for this most important of holidays. The anticipation was thick in the air. This was the longest night celebration, and all the creatures of the Forest Glen gathered to watch the sunset in the great clearing. The pine path spiral must be laid in place. Each creature, great and small, brought with them a pine branch. The great stag, prince of the forest, would be there first to mark the path. He would start at the clearing's edge and slowly walk in ever smaller circles till he reached the center of the clearing. Each family would lay their pine branches along the path he would walk, creating a spiral of pine. Albert had never attended the celebration before, but he had begged Mother Skunk to describe it to him over and over again for the past several days so he could imagine it in his mind's eye. Mother Skunk had hung dried leaves and sprigs and berries from the kitchen chandelier. Decorations for the holiday, she had said. Now the night was finally here, finally happening. It had rained all morning, but Mother Skunk had told her children, The rain will stop. The longest night ceremony has never been rained out. And just as she had predicted, the rain clouds blew north and left an ever-clearing sky. As they approached the glen, they began to see other families. Jimmy Squirrel, his mother, and his three sisters were there just to the right. Jimmy and his mother were both dragging their pine, but the sisters were too small, of course, to bring pine. Mr. and Mrs. Beaver were just ahead of them. Mr. Beaver had an impressively large pine. <laughs> he must have cut down a small tree. Just then, Crow Teacher flew over with a small twig of pine firmly in his beak. His silhouette a dark streak across the orange glow of the setting sun. The few remaining clouds glowed a deepening pink and slowly turned to purple as a huge full moon rose into place to light the clearing. We will begin soon, Mother Skunk had told her children in a whisper. You would think with all the creatures gathering it would be a noisy chattery chaos, but it was quite to the contrary. All the creatures were silent and serious for this solemn ceremony. Albert could hear the rustling of leaves and twigs all around the great clearing as others arrived and took their places. But in the dimming light, it was hard to see who was gathering there. Suddenly, Albert was aware of a silent shadow circling overhead. As he looked up, he saw the great horned owl making ever lower circles descending until he landed in the center of the glen. He carried in his beak a lit candle, which he placed in a wooden stand that was there waiting to receive it. Homo, the owl said in a loud, clear voice. Who, the prince of the forest approaches. Mother Skunk and Bluebell 
held forward their hands with palms down and bowed their heads. Mother Skunk whispered to her children, Everyone do as I do. So Albert and all his skunk siblings did the same. A stomping of hooves and a snort, and then the great stag, Prince of the Forest, stepped out from the edge of the clearing. He had only been a few paces away, but Albert hadn't seen him until now. He was magnificent, his antlers displaying a huge ten-point rack of wisdom and experience. And just as Mother Skunk had described, he slowly and deliberately began his walk, circling the clearing in ever smaller circles, creating a spiral to the center where he joined the owl. This is the longest night of the year, the prince began. We are all creatures of the night tonight, united by the great sky of light above and the Mother Earth below. We will create a spiral of pine as we enter to symbolize the path we walk in this life on Earth. To the center of creation, where our spark of life ignited inside each of us. Eternal creation, endless sparks of life ignited in endless wondrous variety. We are each different. We are all the same. The great stag bowed his head to the owl and produced a candle of his own, which he lit from the owl's. Hoo-hoo! As I call your family, you will walk the spiral path to the middle that our prince, the great stag, has traced for you. Drop your pine branches along the path, lining the way, as the forest provides for us in this life, Owl instructed. Ooh, when you reach the center, light your family candle from the center one and place it in the wooden holder as you spiral out. We enter in darkness and leave by taking our light into the world. Just watch me, Mother Skunk told her children. One by one, Owl called out the names of each creature. It was a magical sight. Every creature of the forest dragging their pine branches along the path, one after another. But still, it was not their turn. Did Owl forget about us, Mother? Albert couldn't help but ask. We are always last because... <laughs> The other creatures are nervous about walking behind twenty-four skunks, she said. And then she winked at Albert and said with a twinkle in her eye, That's a lot of skunk. Albert grinned back. A lot of little stinkers, <laughs> he joined in the tease. Who the skunk family will come forward, Owl said. Mother Skunk stood up and with her head held high, led her family along the spiral. It was magical.
The pine branches that others had dropped smelled sweet, and the candles they placed were now a brilliant reflection of the spiral of stars burning in the longest night sky. Without a word, Mother Skunk dropped her pine branch very near the center and motioned for her family to do the same. She produced a small candle from her pocket. Blue Bell and Mother held the candle together and lit its wick. The little flame sputtered, then raised high into a bright flame of red and yellow. As they were the last family, their candle went into the wooden holder at the end of the spiral. Take your light into the world, Owl said solemnly. Mother Skunk and her family walked the entire spiral, holding their lit candle past the flames of all the other forest families till they placed their flame at the end of the path. Then the prince, the great stag, said to all the creatures lining the edge of the glowing spiral, We are all sparks of life from the same life force. Remember to pause, rest, and reflect. Even as the great sun stops and rests in the same place in the sky at this time of year. Whoo! This concludes our ceremony! Al said. We will all gather for hot chocolate around the bonfire on the sandbank at the river bend. A great cheer rose up from all the creatures. Happy longest night! They greeted each other with joyous smiles and hugs all around. Oh, mother, this is a magical night, Albert said. Yes, indeed, smiled Mother Skunk. Now let's join the party. Mother Skunk clapped her hands with glee. Albert had never seen her so happy. The bonfire was jolly warm and the cups of cocoa flowed. There was much happy chatter and the little ones laughed and ran about. They danced around the fire, holding hands and singing the longest night song. Spiral candles burning bright, just like stars that glow at night. All are one, all are blessed. All tonight will pause and rest.